What is up guys, I am JKU390, and welcome to part 2 of Mega Man Zero. So, last time we... didn't really do all that much, we beat the first couple bosses, <coughs> and I will start the next mission, but not yet, there's some other stuff I still need to do first. Actually, now I kind of want to see it. Okay, no. Alright, so I did some off-screen grinding. When I started playing, or when I last played this, it was 10 minutes that I was into the game, and now if you look, I am an hour and two minutes in. But, <coughs> it's okay, I also have a crap ton of crystals. Uh, I grinded some. If you look down and you see the little star things down there, I got... My Z-Buster is maxed out, and my Z-Saber almost is. So, I don't want to take up too much more of your guys' time with just stupid stuff like that. But, yeah, so I did some off-screen grinding. Anyway, first things first, let's talk to this old man. <coughs> and actually, he just tells me a bunch of weird stuff, so... We're just gonna skip through this crap. I just had to listen to what he has to say. Basically, yeah, he's talking about how he found this, um... What are they called? Freaking... We'll find out in a second. Am I tired of it? No, I'm not. Uh, there we go. A cyber elf. Yeah, so he was talking about a cyber elf that he found, and I guess, like, fell in love with in crap, and that was her memory in that ship. So he gave it to me for listening to his story. And now there's this little fat kid down here who's like, Huh? Who are you? Ah, who cares? Will you do me a favor? I'm too hungry to move. Will you spare me some energy crystals? 250 crystals will do. Will you give me him? Yeah, here you go, fatty. Really? How kind of you. I just hope it doesn't work like, uh, well, for so much, but I don't have anything to give you in return. Sorry. I just hope it doesn't work like American currency. Because if so, then that was like $250 he's going to be spending on, uh... I guess food. For himself for one sitting. But yeah, so I talk or gave him that, now this path is open, which brings me to... that. Because <coughs> like I said, I want to try and get as many cyber elves as possible. I can think of only one more cyber elf that's in this area, but I can't get it yet, because... I think I have to get, like, an A or an S rank on a mission to unlock the door. Yeah. That's not the right room. That's the... trance area. So, there we go. That, uh... Actually, there was one more thing, now that I think about it, I want to check out. Is it... Because I was curious if... Because I went through here, I was curious if these were the guys I saved. Thank you very much, sir. They say you saved a friend of mine. Thank you so much. Okay, no, he didn't give me anything. <laughs> well, that was completely pointless then. I still think it's weird that everybody talks about how much... <coughs> they were freaking out about trying to get zero. And over half the people here don't even know who I am. Begin mission. Which mission? Destroy the train. Uh, we gotta just, yes, mess up the supply. <coughs> I like how she's like, oh, sorry, you're all messed up from hibernation sleep. Anyway, I'm gonna send you on missions. Mission start. Alright, so, oh yeah, I attached the electric thing, the electric, or lightning chip. I'm gonna go past that, grab that. Alright, I equipped that chip, though, because, you know, lightning damage helps. That platform is in the opposite direction. Well, she's trying to trick me, so I can't get this. And for, I don't think there's anything over here. Yeah. All right, just want to make sure. <coughs> there we go. Oh yeah, so that's one of my new attacks right there. My jump spin of awesomeness. I also have the triple slash, and I can power this up and use a cool slash like that. Ah, oh, it hit me. Darn it. Ooh, 
Ooh, several. <laughs> I forgot the motorcycle guys had one. Um. Oh yeah, this guy. Let's go ahead and just do this. There we go. So yeah, lightning stun stuff. So that's why that worked out so well. That was, I guess, a little sub-boss that they throw in there. Being held within the transport train is the Cyber Elf that was stolen from our base. If it's taken to their base, they'll uh, miss it. I think like abduct its power or something. Rescue it, please. Now the train's taken off. The train seems to have left. Please rescue the abducted Cyber Elf. I'm counting on you, Zero. And as you see, I got a time limit. Because let's face it, this would be too easy if I didn't. And those guys right there suck. Cool, I got it already. Is there something in one of these trains? I can't... Oh, I remember those big purple guys have one. Yeah, some of these cyber elves have going off memory, so... <coughs> yep, there it is. And there. Okay, so I'm going to fight the boss now, which means it is probably time to switch to post-com. Alright, what is up guys, we're in post-commentary now. Uh, here we go against this boss. You've reached the... engine chamber. Be careful, Zero. I wish I had bigger tech screens still. Anyway, this boss isn't that bad at all, especially if you have your lightning upgrade on, because as you see, I keep stunning him. There's only one thing that- or, I guess two things, that fire right there can be an annoyance, but this right there. When the floor starts raising, it tries to smash into the spikes. That's the only thing that could really be a problem on this level. But overall, this boss is pretty easy. Even if you don't play Mega Man games, he's simple. <laughs> because I suck at Mega Man games. And as you see, I'm having zero problem fighting him. I get it, because I'm zero. No, but I'm not having a problem fighting him. Uh, the rest of this LP, from here on, if I didn't say, is going to be post-com. <coughs> Sorry, my cough. So yeah, there we went ahead and killed him already. And there's the Cyber Elf. Thank you, Zero. This mission was a success because of you. I really appreciate your help. <coughs> you got Cyber Elf. And I got a C. Because I'm, I'm moving up in the world. Thanks to you, the abducted Cyber Elf has been saved. And the enemy's supply route has been cut off. Thank you very much, Zero. We owe all of this to you. Cyber Elf you've rescued is only a child, but she is a unique Cyber Elf and will learn an awesome ability when she grows up. Raise her with love and care. Alright, so now that that is <coughs> done, I went to the next mission, which was Retrieve Data. Uh, it's basically, she's saying, remember when we first met the place? Well, there's stuff going on there and you have to go retrieve something. So, I'm going there now. <coughs> the thing I hate is, of course, they had to make the level harder, so they made it kind of a douchey level. Which makes it that much harder when you're playing on an emulator. Especially if you're just using the stupid buttons and don't have a controller like I do. Or, like, I guess, yeah. Like, I, because I don't have a controller. Because I could say I don't have a controller like I have a controller. But I actually meant don't have a controller. And then you'd be like me. Anyway. So this thing is filled with a bunch of exploding balls and weird laser lightning things of death and then stuff on the ceilings. So it's not any standard enemies, it's just a bunch of stupid crap that's there to kill you. And here's one of those times that it sucks to ha not have a controller. Or I guess at least the GBA. Because that's this game is for the Game Boy Advance. So the dash is right there. See, I keep latching on, but then I can't really jump as quick whenever I do it, so I just launch back so I don't hit the lightning while it goes up. But then I got it, I got my Z, and then I went over to fight that guy, hoping to get some more health. 
let's see if I do. Nope. <coughs> so now you get to see the beginning of how crappy this stupid level can be. With all the crap on the ceilings and... You know, lightning and exploding balls. Oh yeah, and spiders that try and catch you in the web so you can't move, which could be terrible. And that guy wouldn't die, so I was just like, okay, I'm powering up shot. And I was like, yeah, I dodged that. What of it? <laughs> See, they're just pooping all kinds of stupid stuff onto me. Which, for a starting I mean, it's a Mega Man game, so I wouldn't really expect much different, even if it's Mega Man Zero. Uh, but this is one of those levels where they're just like, we're reminding you you're playing a Mega Man game. So we're going to make it retardedly hard in certain areas. Not that this level's really that bad, as you can see since I'm surviving it. But still. I can be a nuisance. Especially if you're standing on that stupid spider as he runs back and forth and he just keeps hitting you. And I got to the boss door. There's a massive energy reading. Ahead. Stay alert. But, as you guys knew, I like, well hopefully I know by now, I like to make sure I'm at full health if possible, before I fight a boss. Which I'll tell you now, the final boss I actually had to kill twice because I forgot about something that comes up later after. <laughs> but you'll, you'll get to see that fun stupid stuff. Um, so yeah, right now I'm just trying to get all my health back. I had some pretty good dodges going there for a second, but... <laughs> then of course I got pooped on by the enemies again. Getting pooped on is my go-to phrase. Alright, here we go to fight the boss, so... I didn't have to really worry about it. Changing the commentary thing to post-commentary, but whatever. Alright, so there he is, freaking... Oh. My name is Ma Gajif. I am the charge of data. Handling information, blah blah blah, all that other stuff. I'm technical support. If you want the stuff, you have to kill me and t rip it out of me, because I'm crazy. So yeah, basically stupid flame mammoth. From X1. And... He's kind of a pushover. I, whenever he turns into a ball, he can be kind of annoying. But... <laughs> I moved up at the beginning, so he'd just keep charging like this. Because that actually makes him a lot easier. And there's the ball attack, which unfortunately I got hit by that, but... He didn't even have time to use his wrecking ball attack. So it was actually a pretty good... Pretty good, pretty quick kill. And there's his Cyber Elf. That I jumped over for the given reason of... This. Self-destruct system has been activated, Zero. You have to evacuate. Now! This is the reason I had to rest or fight the guy the second time. Because I was like, okay, that's not a problem. Then I forgot that happened with a door slam. So I was like, oh crap. And then I didn't get to kill it in time and got smashed by a boulder. This time I just made sure to start killing everything. Which, as you can see, all the enemies disappeared for some weird reason. <laughs> I'm not really sure why, but I guess I'm not going to complain. It'd be stupid to have all those stupid lightning bolts and freaking spiders and crap and whatever else. Zero, zero. Oh, thank goodness. You're alive. I'm sorry we got you involved in this. I await your return. Resistance base. Okay, return to the resistance base. Mission complete. So... It is my spring break now, guys, so I'm going to try and upload an LP part a day, and I might try and keep doing zero, but I don't know. I still am not 100% sure with that. Uh, anything else I need to talk about? I got like 30 seconds. I guess, oh, I gotta see. I'm going to keep trying to upload parts as much as possible. Um, I can't really think of any, oh, excuse me. Can't really think of anything else. Make sure you check out Sora, Black Sora's um, Mega Man X part. And anyway, I guess that's all I have to say, so until next time, guys, later.